Ah, excellent. You're awake. I'm the doctor. Nice to meet you. You got caught in a bit of a flying alien versus space vehicle accident. Got a nasty knock to the head, twisted the ankle and the knee. Your hip didn't come out of it too well either. Basically, what I'm saying is don't move. I'm gonna get you home soon, but if you want to get there in one piece, I suggest you stay calm. Like, calmer than you've ever been before, calm. In fact, we're all going to stay really calm. A bit of music should help keep things relaxed. Whoa! Sorry. Love that track. Great for cardio. No, not that one either. Ah. Oh, much better. I can feel both hearts slowing right down. Okay, now that we are all officially 100% mellow, there's someone I want you to meet. This is Volta. Volta's an Angarian. They're made of pure energy. It's like capturing the electricity inside a person, without the person, of the electricity. They're stable in their home galaxy, but anywhere else they can get a bit explodey, especially when they're upset. And when I say explodey, what I mean, worst case scenario, turn into a sort of black hole, create a gravitational vortex so strong, so powerful, and so immense that it can take down the entire galaxy. But none of that's going to happen because of all of that lovely Senkam that we're doing. Made it myself. The rig. Not Volta, obviously. It's the only way to contain all that energy. It's a bit wobbly, but it should last until we get Volta home. It's the only place he isn't in danger. Ah, oh, absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? Volta's a bit scared. Not surprising when you run away from home, is it? Oh, I know, Volta. I understand you just wanted to discover, but it's not safe for you out here. Some people think you're dangerous and will try to hurt you. And your mum and dad are worried sick. They won't be angry with you, I promise. They just want you home. It's okay. I'll be with you. This is the Special Positron Undercover Death Squad. Cooperate, or there will be serious Look at this. consequences. It's a Special Positron Undercover Death Squad. Spud, they hunt down and destroy anyone or anything that threatens the stability of the universe. And insanely combustible thermodynamically charged balls of runaway energy that are so on the edge that they could take out this entire galaxy. They're definitely on the list. Promise. Search commencing. Thought I nearly had that one. Listen. Spuds will be searching for erratic and unstable energy waves. So be chill. And work on your breathing. Subject one. Clear. Subject two. Clear. Walter? Volatile life force has been detected on board this ship. You are in strict violation of code 27592 kjgd 9 Please hand over all explosive items immediately, or your vehicle and its contents will be destroyed. You have 30 seconds to okay, comply. Okay, we need to get a shift on and get Volta home. I'll put the TARDIS on autopilot so I can focus on keeping him nice and zen. We should be able to lose the spots in the 20 time. seconds to comply. To keep off the <laughs> 20 seconds to comply. Do you want to try some of these calm breathing exercises? You don't have to breathe. Compliance denied. This is Smudge Squad 352. Immediate backup required. Impossible.
pursuit of a runaway ship carrying an extremely volatile life force. Target is flying through the junk field of the outer galaxies. Target is a danger to the stability of the universe. Destroy on sight! We're getting the hang of this. That's it! That's Volta's planet. We're nearly there. Just a little bit closer. Breach of code 27592KJ GD9 carries severe punishment, initiating destruction sequence. We're stuck. Psychotic death squads outside, an alien bomb inside. I've had karma days. <coughs> 30 seconds until destruction! Good, right? The foot are officially toast. Oh my, you know what I mean. Point is, they can't catch us now. And here we are, Volta's home galaxy. Only thing now is to find some decent parking. Right, Volta? Volta! What was I thinking? They must have interacted with his internal energy. We need to get him out of the TARDIS before he loses control. Walter, hang on. Get you out. He's broken. The EMP must have fired the circuits. He's trapped. And if he's trapped, he can't get outside to stabilize. And if he can't stabilize. Amazing. <laughs> well, that's one way to start the day. Right, time to get you home. Or maybe 
One more trip? What do you say? Whoa! 